Hey, Getting Fit and Indy. Uh, this is Jay. I just wanted to follow up and uh, give you sort of a tour of the two hydration packs I've bought over the last two years and kind of why I picked them, etc. Um, I basically went with the Osprey brand mostly because it was significantly cheaper than the uh, Nathan's and Solomon's and other sort of like more traditional running geared things and they have a fairly good uh, manufacturer's warranty if things fall apart. Um, also, uh, I got it at REI, which is like literally two blocks from my house. So the cool thing is they also sell the replacement actual uh, like uh, hydration system. So if you like the pack and the hydration system just goes south after a year, um, which I pretty much figure they're all going to do because it's basically like water and uh, a thing you put in your mouth. So, you know, if um, if I look at last year's, you know, the, through the bite valve starts to go south after a while. Anyway, um, this is the first pack I got. It is the, it was the Rev series. Um, and this is the Rev 1.5. Basically, the number denotes uh, how many liters of storage, which means not much to me. But uh, in this case, essentially, all you're getting is a pretty small key pocket. So it's got sort of two pockets. It's got the main pocket where you have the actual water reservoir. So, like, if I decouple this thing and take it out, you know, basically the water reservoirs in both packs look identical. Um... But, you know, there, there's a decent amount of space. Like, you could definitely throw a small jacket or some stuff in here. But um, pretty much I always use it with the water system in it because I bought it primarily for uh, long runs and racing conditions. I guess I should have started with that. But, um, yeah, when I had got started running, one of my friends who was doing half marathon said that basically getting used to a hydration pack was a good idea. So I pretty much have used them for every race since forever. Anyway, this pack, getting back a little bit on topic, this pack also has a small pocket. It's like, you know, this big. So essentially, um, I typically use it just to carry keys and a wallet and whatnot, you know, if, if I'm running, because as you probably r realize, running shorts don't really have pockets. And if they did, you wouldn't really want to put anything in them anyway. Um... It also has this bungee cord system on the back, which I found totally useless, as everything I've tried to bungee cord tends to fall out off, and I lost a fairly nice windbreaker doing that. Um, on the reverse side, this is actually the side I care most about, because um, it's what you'll have easy access to. Uh, with this series, they did this sort of phone-specific pocket, so the idea is that you'd put your phone here, and this is like that special, like, uh, plastic that you can touch your phone through. That sounded a little bit weird, but you know what I mean. Um, I never really used it that way, because I didn't find that overly helpful. Um, I just would stick my phone in here, and it was great, because it was right there, and, you know, especially if I'm doing, like, training runs, I'll often like to take my camera out and take pictures and whatnot. Um... And then on the other side, the only real pockets you have are uh, sort of gel pockets, what I call gel or trash pockets. I mean, as you can see, they're like really small. Like, where's something I could use for comparison? Eh, oh well. Remote control pocket. You can't put, like, you can barely put this remote control in the pocket. So, essentially, uh, the problem I had with this one and why I wound up looking for another pack is that if you want to be able to carry any stuff with you, it's kind of a crappy option unless you want to take the hydration system out. And it's a little hard to tell. You can tell by looking at the bottom of this thing. Like, there's not much depth here, so even if you took the hydration system out, there's not a lot of stuff you could chuck in here. Um... This year, I moved up to the 6-liter version of the pack. Essentially, they make a 1.5-liter pack, which is that one, a 6-liter pack, and a, um, I think, 20 or something one that is more like a day pack. I mean, it's got running sort of features, but it's basically got a waist strap as well. Um, anyway, this is the slightly bigger pack. They changed a whole bunch of stuff, which is the reason I actually bought it. 
uh, versus just using that, uh, just replacing the water system in that one for like 25 bucks or whatever. Um, essentially, they got rid of the exterior, like, bungee system. Oh, I should mention, they changed the names of the pack this year. They replaced the revs with the Duro for dudes and Dyna for, uh, chicks packs. Basically, um... Looking at them, I could tell very little difference other than the colorways. So basically, yeah, as dudes, we get gray. Or more gray. Or maybe black sometimes. But um, I don't understand why they sell black running packs. Because if it was sunny out, they would be ridiculously hot and then all your water would heat up. Anyway, so rather than the... Anyway, getting back uh, diatribes aside on topic a little bit... Essentially, they replaced the bungee system with just a sort of a meshy kind of outer layer. So you could basically stick something in, you know, you could stick a jacket or something in here and then reclip it if needed. Because um, I moved up to a bigger pack, you get a much beefier front pocket. Um, it's easier to tell if you look at the packs sort of flat on, but I mean, you could you could definitely stick a camera or, you know, maps or stuff like that in here easily. And you have another, like, little sort of stash pocket. They made this a lot nicer in that there's an actual, like, um, like a, a mesh pocket in here now. So, like, your keys don't bounce all around or, like, chip up your sunglasses. Because they basically destroyed my favorite pair of sunglasses by having them in there with the keys. And, yeah, that didn't work out. Um, other things to mention, uh, the wire compartment's pretty much the same. They did do an interesting kind of, uh, revision to the actual hydration system that's a little bit neat. Um, if you can see, the clip on this doesn't have a open spot. The ones last year, um, basically have this sort of open clip. So, basically, the it seems like a good idea, but then, the you know, the wire system falls off in the middle of a race, and, yeah, not good. Anyway, the wire system pouch is about the same. I don't, and on both of them, you could probably put stuff in addition to the water system, but I never do, just because you don't want it to leak off of. To me, the big change on these is, uh, A, the chest straps are now quick release, which is really nice. Um, the chest straps on both packs essentially have been uh, bungee-like material. So it's really nice because you can still breathe with the thing on. Um, the thing that he really changed was these front pockets. So now there's basically one small, squishy, like, trash pocket, and then one... Uh, bigger pocket on each side, and both sides are identical. Um, but it's nice, because you can actually get like a soft flask in here if you want to carry a water bottle up front. And um, they do they still retain one zip pocket here, you know, if you want to basically uh, put a phone or something, or wallet, and something you want to keep really secure. Um, they added these sort of tie-on straps, which to me seem totally pointless, but, uh, so I may uh, take these off at some point, because they don't really do very much, at least from what I've noticed. Like, I don't usually tie stuff on. I guess if you were, you know, if you wanted to, like, clip something onto it, that would work, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've done about three or so runs with this, and the way they changed the straps made it, uh, a lot easier to... Yeah, bleh. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier for the pack to basically stay put. So, um, I've been really happy. As you can tell from the old pack, I mean, if you look at the seams and stuff, like, it's not ripping out. It's slightly discolored for being a year old and spending a lot of time in the sun. Um, but yeah, um, I would still put, this will probably still be my race pack, just because, like, if I'm, I'm doing a race, I don't really need extra storage or anything. Um... So good luck with your marathon training and hope all is well. Thanks much. Bye-bye.